looks like we've got a game against... Is that us? Yeah. Uh, some kind of elves. Pro elves. Wood elves, maybe? It's probably pro elves, with, and that's a wood elf coach. Yeah, they, they gotta be pro elves. <clears throat> so, let's see... Uh, they've got a journeyman, so they've only got 11 players. We are up. So, let's see. Okay, so yeah, they, does it show team value? Yeah, we're only slightly up there. So they've leveled quite a bit, so don't have many players, but they have leveled. They've got a, a thrower that's leveled up a bit. Armor busted catcher there is nice. Nose of steel and catch. Just reminding myself. Okay, so the blitzers are the main threat here. Okay, they do get 50k. Maybe it wasn't taken into account there. Well, base. I'm confused. Maybe I'm... Maybe Oh, that's SR. That's not team value. Yep. Okay, I remember now. I knew there had to be some kind of <laughs> logic behind that. So what did they take? They've only got two rerolls. So they didn't take rerolls. Okay, so put us on defense, which I'm kind of okay with because... Um, I'll explain why in a, in a second, I just need to set up really. It's been a few days since I played, so. Maybe a week. We will keep the <clears throat> sidestepper on because that could be useful for covering flanks if he survives. Okay. So I think I'm happy with that. I don't want to put the other guard up on the line because I don't want to get him hit. This is already an annoying situation for them to have to break down. It's not that they can't, but they'd have to commit. So yeah, I think, I think it's probably been over a week. It's... Uh, Got busy here. So it's, I'm gonna have to try and sort of squeeze games in when I can. I do like their kit. Diamonds very much suits the Jester theme. Uh, I I like the fact that I don't think yet I've had to. It felt like I had to turn on the uh, the auto colors. Which is nice because it, I'm I'm glad that option's there, but it's nice when you don't have to use it. All right. So we can tell who their blitzers are because they've got dodge. Their catches are a bit harder to tell, but one of them's armor bust. One of them is kind of sneaky, but they are posed a bit differently, so. All the linemen just wearing little lower face guards. So he's not committing to the front, but he does... I mean, he is... Okay, so he's very much committing forwards here. It's a weird sort of setup. But I can sort of see... It, it looks to me like they're going heavy for a fast score here and giving themselves the option in either direction. That is a nice deep kick. 
which does not help them out. Especially seeing as it's gone away from their thrower, so now they can't get it and hand it off to the thrower, I don't think. Four, five, six, seven, eight, which maybe was the idea, hand off to the thrower and then come down and do a pass. So it'll be interesting to see what they do instead. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't have... Yeah, I probably should have pulled these two guys in an extra so he couldn't easily run around, but I guess we've got away with it. For now. Oh my. He's willing to put in the, the dice here. This could be an interesting game. Oh, he did get... Okay. Where did those rerolls appear from? Wasn't he on two a minute ago? Yeah. Oof. Okay, so he kind of committed to that one. This is very dice intensive play. Hmm. Oof. Completely forgetting the ball here, which is interesting as elves. I mean, it's, it's a long way back, so it's not like in a danger area, but still. I think we try and hit the catcher. Oh, and in all the GFIs, this is crazy. Oh, fails the throw, but he can use the pass skill. <laughs> Drops the catch. What a turn. I assume he was going to maybe... I don't know where he was going to go. Like, maybe he's just going to drop back. So we're going to do this so that we can get a two dice on the catcher. Who do we want to blitz? I mean, it doesn't feel worth blitzing these guys, really, unless we can three dice them. Uh, let's move this guy here. Uh, let's see. You are going to have to move in a minute. Let's get you in here. You in here. Yeah, it's going to be quite a lot to try and get these guys effectively. I think what we're going to do is... this. We're gonna put a guy on either side of him. Hmm. I feel like I should have blitzed here somewhere. Lovely. Uh, you know what, we'll stay there. I guess we'll just do this. Uh, that's not really what we want. Does get him down now. Just kind of trying to isolate his players back here as much as we can, which isn't much. Get his catcher down so he doesn't have the easy outlet. Oh, that's a catcher as well. Okay. That might have been a good blitz. Yeah, he's committing a lot here to uh, not a lot of success. I don't know what the plan was there. Now all of a sudden I'm kind of regretting not having a goblin sort of 
over here trying to get towards the ball. Uh, where's my block guy here? Okay, let's try and put in a block with this guy, see if we get lucky. We do not. I can use the brawler skill there. Alright. We'll just bring him in, I think. Make it kind of awkward for them. Very nice. We'll bring him up there. And... Follow that, I think. This guy can come over and blitz somebody. Not what we were looking for. Keep him connected. Not what we were looking for, but keep him connected. That's more like it. Get those armor breaks going. I don't think, because it's not a three dice, I'm not going to roll that. Just going to try and play it sensible, keep him tied up. Obviously at some point the ball's going to head in our direction and it's... Can we sort of keep it from going straight in the end zone, really? He's already down to two re-rolls. We've got everybody down the field in contact. Not that it's too hard for elves to get out, but it's a bit congested at the very least. Take it, see, we've forced one dice here, which is really nice. And we'll try and do the same next go. Probably just move the goblin back in here, just so he's kind of in the way as well. Like, he can blitz through it, but it's going to be awkward. It's going to be hard to kind of score with these guys as the plan. Or at least going to take some serious rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Read up a catcher. Is he going to try and get the ball to him? Or is he just getting himself out and out and about? Looks like he wants to knock down this orc. Which he doesn't. Is he going to push him? Here he is. So now this guy is, in my mind, a pri target priority for hitting. Ooh, fumbled the ball to there. Okay, we can work with that, potentially. Okay, so if I can hit this, which we can, move him back down there, follow it up, gives us a route to the ball. Very nice. And we'll stay there. Okay, I could do with moving this guy. Uh, we'll brawl of that. Much better. Uh, stay. Uh, 
That gets us two guys on the ball. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's only a two dice. Um, let's just keep trying to make it awkward, eh? Follow. Nice. Go on, you can do it. Okay, we'll go with that. That's a lot of pressure around the ball. And a goblin close by. Gets the one die splits. And the armor break. And the KO. Oh, did not get the uh, bounce though, which I think it's fair, because considering he put in a one dice and we had three guys around it. That guy goes down again, unfortunately. But lucky with the armor break. That guy goes down. Is he going to dive somebody in to try and grab this? It would be surprising, but I'm kind of almost prepared for a bit of surprise. Goes for the gobbo. Does he follow? Probably should. Doesn't, so he frees up a goblin. Is he gonna... No. He is. He's trying to get in there and... Oh my, he's actually doing it. That, that would have been insane. He rolled a lot of high dice there. You kind of don't see it in the same way that you used to see it on the, um, you know. On Blood Bowl 2. Uh, let's bring you up to here. Try and get in the way as much as we can. Bring you in here. I'm kind of hoping to do a blitz of you, but you're not really available. We could get you in here, though. How many guys does he have on the ball? Just one right now. But I didn't really have a... Oh, I mean, I could do a goblin blitz, I guess. Oh, it's his blitzer, though. So we have that. I think we're going to kind of leave things, hmm, I think we're actually going to do this for safety. Very nice. Oh, not, yeah, very nice. That's because we have, um, you know, what? I think we'll stay there. So you can come up to next to the ball. Is this what we're looking at? Okay, that's not what we were looking for. I guess he's going to go here. Uh, stay. Does mean, oh, um. I am going to try and hit this because we've got to try and keep these guys out of, yep, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, that's better. 
and we'll follow it. Just try and keep these guys a bit more tied up by making more of them in contact. Ooh, I could regret that, so I'm not going to do it. It's only in one tackle zone right now. I don't even know if I should try to hit this guy. Maybe not hitting him was a better option there. Because I have a feeling he's just going to try and do this, which could easily work. It's like a 3 plus, 3 plus, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to blitz him. It's really tricky to know. Because if, obviously if we knock him over, we grab the ball, but maybe the fail state is too too strong. Alright, so he's freed up this guy. I, th I honestly think he's going to grab the ball and come down here. And then he's in a pretty good position, honestly. In, in that sense, picking up the ball is an absolute no-go. Oh yeah, he's in a really... He might be in a really good position. Bring this guy over here, grab the ball, come through, and then you're, you're scot-free. Oh, why are you doing this? Why, why did he just put a reroll into that when he got a push already? I'm super confused about that. I mean, unfortunately, that's not the reroll gone for the turn. Yeah, we got it. It's annoying, that is. Hmm. My fault. Come on. Oh, it's just taking his time. And, you know, that's always the danger. Alright, so I think we try and hit this guy and then see if we can run goblins down onto him. Uh, it's not the result I was looking for. Can you go that's useful? I guess there, maybe? I guess you can go in here. You can attempt this block. We'll uh, roll of that, just on the off chance. Oh, let's push you back at least. Nice. <clears throat> Maybe we could, uh, you know, force him in or something at least. I, th I feel like we should be in a better position than this. We we were. He's very much elfed his way out of it, and I don't. I mean, it might sound not very nice, but I don't. Tactically, it was he did it in a sort of very ideal way. Let's put it like that. So it's just a dodge off here. 
I just, you know, got what I could. Maybe he'll roll some bad dice over here that he doesn't need to. No, he's just going to be sensible. Hoping for a, a dodge there. To at least sort of, you know, stay on him. I guess he could stall out in the corner. I think he's considering if he wants to keep going there. Looks like he's going to. No, he's going to. Why would you? Why would you do it? Why not just come down here? I mean, it's just, it's just, I mean, I guess he's just trying to make it so he can stall it all the way to turn 8, but even so, I mean, it's... <clears throat> rolling those <laughs> to, uh... Oh, he's getting, getting aggressive now. And, you know, I guess getting away with it, too. We just gotta hope that that changes, because I feel like he's pushed his luck pretty hard, and we've tried to play pretty sensibly on the whole. Uh, it doesn't always work out, unfortunately. Yeah, like, this should be... <clears throat> probably players hurting themselves on the whole. Although, two dice with block ain't, ain't the worst idea. It's just a bit scary when you're elves, because if, you, if it fails, then you're getting mighty blow on uh, low armor value. Technically could throw this gobbo. Unfortunately, it was the last one that failed there. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, roll of that. Move you back. Stay. Stay. I uh, can't get through there. Can get in there though. Okay, how do we do this? No, no. I guess like this. This is our first throw. Okay. Um, you know what, we'll just stand you up, I think. We'll two dice against this. It's not great, is it? You know what, I've changed my mind. Ah, uh, failed. I mean, that was never gonna, you know, two dice against into block with no block is not great odds, so it felt like it was worth going for the, um, the assist, because one dice is, is really a lot better. Hmm. 
Maybe he'll roll some dice. <clears throat> he doesn't need to before he does other things here. Didn't use a reroll on that at least, so that's a bonus. I mean, in fairness, this is a game ride. I fancy myself as pro elves. Scott, you drop the reroll into that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. You might not feel that's lucky, but that's pretty lucky there. Still doing things. I guess he wants to still all the way to turn 8, which... Well, I assume that's why he's doing all this anyway. He's got no rerolls and nobody down here, so I, I wouldn't advise this. Maybe he's just going to go in. Yep. I had a feeling he was going to think better about that there. But they didn't record a whole lot. Of, I don't know if they recorded any new sounds for the new game. Because, like, the voice effects they've got sound very similar to the old voice effects. Um... I know a lot of the effects are the same ones they used, and, and like in that situation that doesn't make any kind of sense at all, that weird weird sort of sequence of sounds he's making. But hey. So drawn. Maybe we can get a touchdown here, we'll have to see. This is an interesting setup that makes me want to try and punch through the middle. So let's get you in here. I mean, I guess a blitz and we're in big trouble here. But if we can move that guy out. And then, let's see. Move this guy here. Move this guy. Hmm. Move this guy here. I kind of want to knock this guy down. Pro will try and punch through the middle. Get like be a diversion there. This guy I'll try and punch through the middle and be a diversion there. All the gobos will go up. Probably need a couple of gobos back for this. Unfortunately. Doesn't leave us much up front. But hey. We'll see what happens, eh? That's the best we can do here. Interesting. Uh, well, it's going to be all these guys, eh? Yeah, 
Yeah, that's it. Why is it giving me... Oh, um... Okay, sweet. Uh, we'll give it to... Lisa guy. Okay, how fast is this, uh, does this go horribly wrong is the question. <laughs> Immediately, classic. Uh, let's see, so we need you to go, we'll brawl of that. Much better. Follow. Come on, guys, that's more like it. I have to reroll that. Oh. Okay. Well, we could be in trouble here. What should I have done? What should I have done? I mean, I think that was overall the right thing. So we move him there. This guy gets hit. Uh, do we three dice at the patrol? No, I don't think so. I think we hit it with this guy. This guy comes over and blitzes that guy down. And then we run the gobos through there. Okay, I don't mind that. Staying close to the troll, because obviously the troll throw is all we've got left. But we don't have, we use both our rerolls, so it's going to be tricky. But we can bring these guys in to help <clears throat> um, mitigate, I guess. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. Get you back up. So we need to try and move this guy. Should we have? Be nice to at least kill some people, you know? Um, I think we have to try and sort of make things difficult if this doesn't work. I guess him being there is probably not the worst. Oh, you little beauty. Did we deserve that? Hmm. Maybe not. You know what I will say? He did not try to mitigate it, so I think in that sense, he made it pretty easy, right? I think your first priority in that situation is you got to stop that troll throw. Or make it a really difficult, like, surround him, basically. So, yeah. I actually don't... I don't feel bad about going in 1-1. I think, I think we... I think a 1-1 is is reasonably deserved because his setup was mad okie doke um so we're obviously not going to be quite this aggressive this time need to kind of cover our flanks a little bit Maybe even more than that. Maybe we pull on cover them. Uh, this doesn't make as much sense. We do want to hit all of the elves. So how many have we got? We've got five and we've got five guys. So we should be able to. Uh, we'll move you out to help stabilize that. 
<clears throat> I think we'll actually move you out as well. Although that, um, hmm. You move to there. Oh, that, that gives us too many in the flank, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, and too many in the flank, yeah. So we don't really need that extra air, in fairness. Okay, so we should be able to theoretically hit everybody now. And there's not an easy way through. But if it is a blitz, it's definitely a danger. Because he's his whole team is far forwards. And positioned on the flanks. been an interesting one. He's very unpredictable. Seems to be taking his time here. Maybe he went to go get a drink. That's another weird throw. Is he doing that? He might be doing that on purpose. Um, oh boy. Okay, so our, our block guy is stunned. And did we get somebody sent off as well? Stunned. Uh, select the player to whom to get... Hang on. Just wrath. What gets self stunned? What gets chosen? Okay, why is this guy not in the... How many guys do we have? Oh, do we have 2, 4, 6, 7, 8... Okay, we have 11 on the field. Do we have two extra guys right now? Because I was trying to roll with one. Tempting to give it to an orc, obviously, but... I think... Like, he can really get us, like, stuck up here, so I think giving it to the gobo makes more sense. Uh, let's move closer to the troll. He's probably going to have to make that blitz there. So we'll do this. We'll do this. I think we might do this. Oh, I don't... Okay, I just realized the troll is not in a great position here. In the sense that... Okay, but if that guy moves, he'll be in a better position. We sort of shored it up as much as we feel like we can. Alright, so we'll do that. And we'll follow, because that gives the troll license to make a hit. Although I'm not sure that we can afford to, actually. Again. Oh, how lovely. Uh, we're just going to leave these guys over here. If they want to put a bunch of guys dealing with this, fair enough. I can't make the hit with the troll, unfortunately. Due to this guy going down. So I think I need to get rid of somebody. Either that or I can't count, which is also possible. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, we've got two subs. Which I wasn't going to run with, unless maybe we get, like, uh, a Fowler. Wow, he's gone straight in for this. This is madness. I mean, it kind of worked, but... 
Boy, that's madness. I guess these guys are going to come around and base us up now. Just ran straight through his hole. Okay, we need to be prepared for that, I guess. Not that you can really prepare for that. Did he use a reroll? I don't even know if he used a reroll for that. So consolidation is going to be our key here, because obviously we're getting slapped around a bit. I think this means he's probably not going to be able to block these guys down, so it'll be interesting to see if he just stays there, if he dodges off. If he doesn't, which he's not, I mean, trying to come back through would be nice. Oh man, he got the troll down on a one dice. It was a block, in fairness. Oof. It's done as well. We are, uh, we have to, we got a lot down right now, so we have to just try and find a way to... get out of this, essentially. Maybe a chain? Because that's... Okay, that's their nasty blitzer. Did he stun... He stunned us. Wow. What a go. Um, okay. Hmm... Who can we chain? We can't... Unfortunately, the guys that we could theoretically chain, we can't chain. Chaining this guy would be nice, but the problem is we don't really have anybody to do it. So we might just have to do a dodge. Boy, he's got a lot of people in the field. Yeah, I think... I think... Oh, it's going to be a double dodge as well. Because that's a one dice. <gasps> double dodge is not good. It's a one dice. That's a one dice. So we got a two dice there. So we could bring somebody here... Yeah, that might be the way. Okay, at least we got that. Follow it up. Do I... Should I follow that up? Yeah, I should. Apo gonna probably get used here. It looks like it worked. It's a one dice, unfortunately, because I, if our troll was up, we could two dice that. Oh, he'd have just gone there. So then I think we do this. And then we're going to be dodging back out through here. They don't have dive and tackle right now. Okay. Should have moved this guy first. Ah, uh, not what we we're looking for, but kind of does a job. Get him hooked up again. Okay, see if we can survive this next turn. It's not going to be easy. Because we got pressure all over here. <clears throat> Survival is definitely the aim of the game at the moment. Obviously the ball is, is not safe. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got two GFIs. He just goes straight for it. It's, it's mad. I mean, you... I'm not saying that that was... Uh, obviously, if we had had him here, that would be, wouldn't be happening. So not moving this guy first was silly. But still. 
Okay, he grabbed the ball. That's not necessarily too bad in some ways. Depends what he can get over here. Let's see how crazy his dodging is going to be here. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, you could do that. That would be quite nice. Give us a give us a skull skull. Go on. Oh you know, another stun. Boy, I don't don't feel like we're gonna be in a good position in a second. I think he's gonna roll some dodges and or maybe some more. <gasps> skull there would be nice. Okay, that guy making a block is good though. Although it doesn't really free up the way for this guy very much. Gonna block that. Yeah, just a push. Okay, that's would be good. It's just not cool. Okay, that's really problematic because that's stopping us from freeing stuff up. KO. Oh man, this is, and that's on our, no, it's not on our blocker, but still, it's really bad. Well, I mean, the armor breaks are, are just being brutal as well. Okay, so you can at least get to here. Unfortunately, I can't pick up the troll yet unless I pick up this guy, which means I probably have to pick up this guy. You, all you can do is get to here. Alright, so. Got two free guys here. I guess this guy can make the block. But then, who retrieves? I think I have to make this one first, which I may regret. No, not yet. I think I'm just going to put him here. Alright, so I think you have to do this, and we're going to try and blitz him. Okay. Um yeah, this way. Hey, and I'm a break. Oh, that ball scatter is not great. Okay, the pickup is. Uh, do I need to come here? Yes. It would be nice to knock him down a bit more. Okay, overall though, <clears throat> that went pretty well. <laughs> Who's going to jump out of the formation to come hit us this time? What's this guy, has this guy got? Okay, he's, he's rolled a one. Last three rolled down. <laughs> well, 
Well, we know what happens here. This guy's going to come get the ball. Okay, it's in. It's in two tackle zones, although one of those is about to disappear. Although guard here is helpful. Aye, aye, aye. We're just trying to bleed his rerolls so the crazy shenanigans can stop. Okay, he's going to knock the troll down first. He's going to one dice the troll, probably, because he's pretty greedy. Yeah, just a push, but that is enough to get uh, this guy a two dice. Which gets him on the ball as well, which is bad. Hmm. Why did that guy go there, I wonder? Okay. Sort of wish I had hit the apple on the KO now. Is he going to come and try to get this out of a tackle zone? I think he is, because that's now a free dodge, isn't it? Ouch. Is that on the troll? Yeah. Okay. He tried to push the ball. It hasn't helped... I mean, he's kind of helped himself, but... Oh, he's stunned the troll. Wow. This guy has no shame at all. Okay. So, we'll get you up. We need to try and sort of clear away to the ball here. Or at least to their players. Very nice. Um... That's that we need more of that, you know. Okay, getting a guard in here would be really handy. Um I don't want to hit the ball here, is the interesting thing. Trying to work out how best to kind of contain all his players. Maybe this guy in here. This guy. So he's on three, four, five, six. Double GFM here. Blitz here and come in here. I know it sort of seems a bit crazy, but we're sort of trying to. Okay, I should work out where this guy's going to go. Probably here. We're sort of trying to make it as difficult as possible for him to get the ball. Okay, knockdown is very pleasant here. Yeah? Yeah, we need to at least attempt both these rushes here. I think he's going to try and knock it onto the ball and bobble it. <clears throat> if it works, there's not much we can do. We just have to hope that his attempts are not successful. Us trying to do that, I don't think is sensible because it's so much likely to get caught by one of these catchers. He's out, we just got to remember, he's out of reroll, so any bad blocks or GFIs or dodges, like, it's it's bad now. So we just got to rely on that. We've got three rerolls. He's elves. We just got to hope that the elf, elfiness just 
drop there. You know it's an orc game when everybody's in a, <clears throat> a little square like this. Okay, bad start. Onto the ball. Yeah. Bobbling's so much better for him. Because, like, it's so likely for one of his guys to catch it. That's great, though. Might be willing to one dice this. Wish our guard was a bit closer in, or our troll. Imagine if our troll was up here. Oh. Whole different complexion. That's pretty nice. Because we can now do this. Stay on the ball. I mean, the, the downside here is we're never going to get this ball either. You'd think in a big brawl like this we'd have the advantage, but we so don't, do we? Oh, he's not going on the ball that time. I'm surprised. Does now have a... Yeah, all he's got to do is come in and out, and he's, he's home free. But, I mean, that was, you know. I didn't expect... I mean, that's... Yeah, I guess that's not ridiculous, actually. Can't you just for once roll roll <laughs> roll me a nice skull or something? Because I don't know how we get to this. I mean, I know how we get to it, but I don't know how we affect it. Okay, I'll take that. Nobody's anywhere near the ball, though, is the problem. Uh, and I don't think we can Blackhawk our way over there, because the important guys are... Yeah, he's got enough going here. You're not going to do anything. Even if I move the troll by moving... Yeah. So. At least get some guys out of the way. Oh, I should have put him over there. Um, You can stay. I think we're, I think we're going to be losing this one, you know. I'm not for sure on that, because we're still going to try. question is, how are we going to try? I think trying to get this guy. Makes sense. Could at least injure him. And then I think we do this to try and clear a path. This guy is assisted. Oh, because you're down. Uh, okay. Trying to clear a path for the gobos here. I do think I need to follow that. Uh, yeah. Ooh, what to do first, eh? Okay, that's the dodge gone. Okay. Use a lot of my extra time. 
Problem is now we freed up these guys a bit. I guess not that much unless he's willing to move them. Oh, this guy's super free though. <clears throat> that was a problem. I was kind of thinking of the goblins as being part of the what was stopping them in place, but it wasn't what was part of stopping them in place because they were going to move. So ideally this guy probably should be here and then it's a lot better. I'd have had to dodge that though. And I had to, I think I had to I no I did stand him up. But yeah, it made sense to stand him up. So he's given himself a, a two dice now, unfortunately. And I think what you do is two dice and then run down here. Bushes. I mean that's nice, because that does potentially mean that there's three goblins up. Unless he's just going to... Oh, he might just go in, you know. He's paused. Okay, he's not going in. And everybody's in range. Hmm. Hope. Hope continues for, for at least a few seconds until he does something with this. I guess he could make that hit, right? But that might be worse for him. Interestingly. Yeah, that's a good both down there. Did he stun us? He stunned us as well. Alright, so everybody but these two gobbos is out of range now. So let's try and... We've got to try and put the pressure on at least. Uh, you can come down in here and then that blocks a lot of his team off. Kind of. Yeah, I think we have to try it. It makes sense to do this rather than... Yeah, okay, it didn't really work. But it didn't not, I suppose. Come on, pair. Reroll into both down, I expect. Yeah, skull. And stun. No stun. But now he can just run over here. And he's pretty much fine. Ay ay ay. So we're going to get our first loss. And I don't know if it's... it's I'd be interested to hear what you think. Is this a, it's a deserved loss? Maybe it is. I mean, personally, I feel like he's just sort of rolled all the dice at us and it's worked. I've gone here because it's sort of midway. That's my theory. Can you throw a prone player? Hmm, doesn't really say. Could get to him. It's too late for a skull now. I needed that like 20 minutes ago. Maybe we can maybe we can drop some orcs down here and put on some pressure. I feel like that's that's worth doing. Oh, uh, yeah, well... Oh, we don't need to brawl that.
Let's make him think twice about holding off here. If we can. This one's a blitz. Not as many injuries as I'd like. Is there somebody there? There is. Okay, that should probably force a score out of him. You'd be pretty brave not to uh, push this in. He's thinking about it. Giving it a lot of thought, but he's got he's got to get he's not okay. I think he selected blitz there, so I was a bit worried. I don't know if that was an accidental thing if he meant to blitz the goblin and didn't realize it was going to path him there, but that's quite possible. Maybe he was gonna maybe he was gonna try and stall that, but he didn't, which means there's a very very outside chance of the old goblin throw here. Do we put two? I think we have to put two goblins up there. Just in case. Okay, so we just want to move people off the troll. So if the troll's in the middle, let me just check here. Yeah. The troll's in the middle, he's in the right place. We'll pop somebody either side of him just in case. Uh, which means these guys go here. I don't technically know what the best setup here is, but this feels sensible. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is... I think this is sensible. But I don't, I don't I actually don't know what the optimum setup is, because I Pretty much never play trolls when I play orcs normally. Oh no, the blitz is not good. He threw it right to the troll though, which is interesting. Okay, this is. This is I don't know what he's going to do here. The good news is we've got a lot of orcs along the front line. We've got four players he can move. It'd be really interesting to see how he decides to attempt to sort of solve this problem. I guess you probably I actually I think you want to run guys around the back in case like there's a fumble here and you can get some guys on the ball. But this also makes sense because you're sort of making it hard for the troll. He might even put in like a two dice against here. Because if it works, that's that's game, right? Yeah, he is going to. Don't tell me that's a knockover. At least be a push. I can't even see. Oh, it's not. I think he can still technically do it. Mate. Well, let's see. Are we going to get the armor break? No. 
Okay, I think he can still technically do it because he can get up and do it, right? So yeah, we get the ball, give it to this guy, roll steps up and throws him. I think we do ideally want the problem is we need to clear these guys and that's really tricky. We could easily use our rerolls here. Trying to get the guard guy in. We would clear him out there. Hmm. Because the problem is if I hit this, I don't know how far the troll can throw. I feel like he still wants to step up. But if I, if I fail to knock this guy down, that presents a whole new world of problems. could step up to here, it would be a GFI. Is there anything else I can do to make this better? I have to get the goblin the ball. Which is hard enough as it is, like we're probably just going to fail it here. If we get him to here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boy, we need to be really accurate. Here, two, four, six, seven. That only saves us one. I don't know what the odds are here, so I think we just go with this. Hang on, did he kill a black orc? How? Okay, no injury. How, what, what on earth just happened there? I have no idea. I mean, we did lose. I, I think overall we did most of the right things there, but obviously it's raining and all of that, so it was always going to be tough. Uh, and we got blitzed. That made it a lot, a lot more tricky, because obviously otherwise we could have uh, not put in a couple of those extra rolls, but honestly I, I think it was just going to always be hard. I think, I think we may have had some injustice there, but I suppose, I suppose in fairness, oh, we got a uh, achievement. They're throwing a teammate twice. I suppose in fairness, maybe we would we would do a bad result, but it's always a pity when it's on a game where actually you feel like you probably should have come away with a win. But I mean, whatever. It's not the end of the world, right? Um. It was, you know, I guess you could say it was an exciting match. He played more aggressively than 
and I, I can see why it, it works a lot because it's it's like extremely high risk extremely high reward right it's just and I think he got a bit lucky against us honestly um especially I mean there are a number of points I think he was lucky to even score in the first half I think us going in one nil was was a more likely result in the first half but um you know, we we pulled the luck back a bit to get to one one, and then I think second half just things really sort of piled up his way with um. I'm trying to remember what happened there at the beginning of the half. I think overall, oh I I mean he just made a bunch of blitzes through. Yeah, there was that ridiculous blitz through the whole line with the blitzer that was a bit crazy. This guy could do another level up. Can you you can hold on to him though, right? So we don't have to level him up. I don't think there's anything I want to give him. Uh maybe we do a random on one of our guys that we've brought in and then just fire him unless it's something good. Because I don't really know what else to do with him. Um, sorry. Thoughts kind of going everywhere. I think uh Yeah. He, he, you know, obviously those worked out like two or three times. He threw a bunch of dice at it and got away with it. And then, yeah, we, we were fighting the whole time just to stay in it and trying to do that while playing reasonably where he wasn't playing reasonably. And sometimes that just works. And this was one of those, one of those times. So I think what we do here is we are going to random. You'd have to have six to randomize one of those. So once we've leveled up, you know, if we level up one or two more, we could randomize our guy that's on uh, six, randomize him a general, and if he doesn't get what we want, we could just get rid of him, because sidestep's nice, but it's like not scaling up your goblins, I assume, is like any other team. Not really a priority, and not where you want your points going. So we'll random this guy a agility, see what he gets. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll take a sidestep. Uh and then we'll I'll randomize this one. Uh agility. I don't mind having a couple of sidesteppers because it's really easy. Wow, okay. Do we want three sidesteppers? I guess. But we'll probably get rid of our thirteenth guy, I think. I think probably what I did was I hired him last time in order to fire him to keep our team value down, and then I forgot to fire him. That's what I'm guessing I did. But yeah, I do, I'm, I'm really curious to see what people think about that game, because it felt pretty crazy. Got 80k. How do we spend that? Um... not a good way to do that. Uh, I'll do it in between. <clears throat> I'll do it for the next game. You don't need to watch that. So that puts us at... Is it going to tell us in here? No, that's the top 100. Probably in the team stats, maybe. No, 6 and 1. There you go. But yeah, I mean, they're a tough, they're a tough team for elves, and we did not do any damage to him like the whole game until well that's not fair like right at the end we did a couple of injuries i think maybe a ko in the first half which came back um i think considering how aggressive he was playing and how much he was basing us i think that was another thing so i'm gonna console myself with saying that he got a bit lucky there uh and uh yeah cool there thanks for watching guys i will catch you for the next one bye bye for now